So I've decided to make a uh, walkthrough video of my 2013 Mustang GT 5.0 complete with the track pack, 6 speed manual. A um, couple things that I've done to the motor. Well, a lot of things. Got the BBK cold air intake, Steeda strep tower brace, Excel super coils. Uh, more so expansion tank, uh, billet steel fuse cover, Roush strut caps, and a strut finish. More so battery box. Got the uh, BBK shorty headers down there, kind of hard to see. Got a custom painted plenum and coil covers to match the exterior body color of the car. Um, got the more so reservoir box, I mean uh, more so brake fluid box, whatever you want to call it, cover. Just a lot of chrome under the hood. I really like the chrome under the hood. I don't like it so much on the outside. As far as the front of the car, I went and installed a Roush upper with the fog light delete. Got the MMD blackout surround around the grill. Installed a billet um, lower grill. Got a uh, blacked out marker lights, smoke marker lights, and a still in chin spoiler. It took me a long time to find a chin spoiler. Um, didn't really want to do too much altering of the car. So I looked around and looked around and I was actually pleasantly surprised with how this one came out, how inexpensive it was and how easy to install it was. Recently had a uh, Steeda Ultralight Springs installed with the uh, Eibach camber bolts. So that's gave it a much better stance than what it had before. Got rid of that farm truck gap that people so much talk about with the Mustangs. Right here in the back you can really see the difference in stance and how it looks. Back here in the back of the car, which is just as sexy as the front, I got a uh, 5.0 emblem. Got rid of that GT emblem to separate myself a little bit. Got a MMD ducktail spoiler, pre-painted. Much better than the stock spoiler. Got the tail light um, trims to match the cover of the car. And I also have a MMD deck lid panel, which does a great job of matching the lower panel. Got the Roush axle backs, which I painted in a high heat spray paint. Got a MMD GT fuel door, which I plasti dipped. Still got the stock rims on them that come with the track pack, but I did a uh, plasti dip on there in black. It's been on there for about six months now. It's holding up pretty well. Still got the stock tires on there. Got the uh, MMD GT350 style louvers for the quarter. Which really give it a clean look in my opinion. Um, 5.0 badge blacked out. Put uh, vinyl black accents on the hood grill inserts. And also under the car I have a uh, BBK shorty headers which I already mentioned. A BBK X-pipe. Resonator delete. Um, 
BMR control arms, rear BMR control arms, and a rear upper control arm made by Steeda. And uh, I guess the last thing on the outside is the little stock stubby antenna. Got rid of that stock antenna, which was about 10 feet tall. Really irritating. A couple little modifications on the inside of the car. Got the uh, Roush door sill plates. Little chrome features on the door locks. Vent covers. Tail uh, headlight switch. Real big fan of the details. Uh, got chrome trim on the console. There, wrapped around the uh, screen and the radio knobs and heater knobs. Got a chrome uh, emergency brake cover. Chrome billet steel console cover, GT. Little Roush one also on the back. And uh, the last thing is the Roush knob. And you can't see, but underneath there is a MGW short throw shifter, which uh, it's a pretty good shifter. It's a little bit notchy though. In first, I do gotta admit, uh, first gear can be kind of a pain in the ass, but it has made driving this car a lot more funner really decreased the shift throw and uh, made it faster to shift and uh, got the GT500 style brake pedals so we'll do a little turn key at the cold start and uh, we'll hear how it sounds what are you doing? Yeah, that concludes the uh, video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope uh, you guys uh, enjoyed it. Overall, I spent about uh, almost ten grand with all these modifications that I put on here. Uh, kind of a little, little, little overboard, but. That's the, uh, that's the price of owning a Mustang. Very addictive and uh, very modifiable. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day.